Hey guys, welcome to The Market is Open. Check out our website, themarketisopen.com. So the rumors are starting to swirl even among the large media companies for Tesla's Battery Day, which Elon Musk said would take place in the third week of May, but will now occur a little bit later due to some delays, likely due to the global health crisis. But the evidence is starting to ramp as Tesla prepares to announce a revolutionary new battery technology. Elon Musk says this may be the most exciting day in the company's history. So in this video, I want to look at mainly one of the secretive things that Tesla is keeping under wraps and is likely to announce on battery day, and that's the million mile battery and what this could mean for the automotive industry as we look at this through the lens of investors. But first, please hit the bell button to subscribe and be notified of upcoming Tesla videos. And you can also support the channel at patreon.com slash the market is open. And we give a shout out to our patrons at the end of each video. Okay, the big media outlets have started to leak information with regards to Tesla's battery day. Again, we're gonna focus on the idea of a million mile battery in this video, meaning that the car battery lifetime will last or outlast the lifetime of the vehicle. Tesla is likely planning new battery chemistries, new manufacturing processes, using Maxwell Technologies Dry Electro Technology. That's a company that Tesla acquired and will help Tesla remove many steps from the battery production process. Tesla also has a patent for tabless batteries, which could change the structure of how batteries deliver current to the vehicle. By combining some of these inventions, batteries will increase in capacity, but also in durability, as internal chemical reactions that usually crack and degrade the inner structure of the battery will be greatly reduced thanks to these ideas and could enable the million mile battery that Elon Musk has alluded to. The media outlet Reuters is saying that the Million Mile Battery is co-developed with China's CATL, C -A -T -L, which is the company that Tesla has partnered with to provide batteries for China-made vehicles. It would be interesting to know the details around this agreement here and if the sources are correct, because the thought is that Tesla brings this technology to all of its gigafactories or terafactories worldwide. It seems that this million mile battery may first be deployed in China, but Tesla made some acquisitions including Maxwell and Highbar which each contribute to speeding up the battery production line. And so the thought is that Tesla may be doing this in-house. So it would be interesting if Cattle had an interest in Tesla's core technology here, which is what Reuters is saying, but, but it doesn't entirely line up. In terms of Elon's team of battery experts, Tesla is working with their research partner, Jeff Don at Dalhousie University in Halifax, and he and his team are responsible for many of the patents and testing new battery chemistries that will help Tesla achieve higher energy density, and of course these batteries with less degradation capable of achieving a million miles of longevity. This is a huge technological advantage for Tesla and could impact the industry in many different areas. First, one concern among potential electric vehicle buyers is battery degradation and replacement cost. The batteries in a Tesla are expensive on the order of $10,000 plus or minus, and although the vehicles come with a battery warranty, I believe it's usually eight years, some people want to keep their cars for longer than that. But the current batteries can still last about 300,000 miles, which is about 480,000 kilometers, and that's gigantic for some people. It depends how much you drive. But really, it's the number of cycles, the number of charges and discharges that can degrade the battery more quickly, and also the depth of those charges, which could reduce the battery capacity faster. So instead of being full at 100%, maybe it only gets to 90% and then lower over time, kind of like how your phone battery capacity degrades over time as well. So the million mile battery simply means that this is no longer a concern for potential buyers. But it doesn't stop there at all. Besides having a customer concern disappear and boosting the market size for Tesla buyers, electric vehicles have become hugely competitive with ICE vehicles. The average age of a vehicle on the road today is about 12 years old. And that's the average, meaning that some are higher, maybe 20 years old. Current Teslas may have trouble getting there without replacing the battery a couple times, which is quite expensive. So with a million mile battery, think of the increased residual value. When you want to sell your old Tesla, the battery still won't need any maintenance. So it's going to hold its value, especially versus regular cars, which usually need a ton of maintenance once they start to get old. Tesla is removing the maintenance on the most expensive part of the vehicle. But then you might say that Tesla will simply increase the cost of the battery or new vehicles containing this battery in order to capitalize on it. I think that may happen at first since the technology will be new and the volumes will be low. But as Tesla scales, I believe that along with their other inventions, and we'll talk about that in later videos, it might actually cost them less to make the million mile battery versus the current 300,000 mile battery. So that could lead to more margin and more profits for Tesla, but some of that will likely be passed on to the consumer to reduce the cost of purchasing a vehicle and expand the size of the market. 
so I don't expect the price to fundamentally increase. I think that at a similar price point, this could really hit competing electric cars and gas cars and make those other vehicles lose value more quickly. Now let's move on to how a million mile battery could enable some of Tesla's new products, starting with the Tesla Semi. Semi trucks are driven all day, long distances, sometimes throughout the night, and they have to carry huge loads, up to 80,000 pounds total load in the US, including the weight of the vehicle. Again, in this video, we're not going to talk about batteries being light and more efficient, but rather we're going to focus on the million miles of range. So the semi probably needs to be charged up very often, maybe daily, maybe multiple times a day. And guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the thumbs up button. We'd super appreciate that. Okay, so if the battery on the semi is expected to have a 300 mile or 500 mile range variant, and the driver is driving all day, then they're charging every day. If you run the semi battery down to the bottom each day, you're killing the longevity of it much faster. With the current batteries, you're having to replace them within perhaps 300 charges a year, which I think is actually low. So 1500 cycles, maybe even less if you're abusing the battery, maybe you get five years out of it. And the semi is probably packed with batteries. Estimates I've seen are between 500 to 1000 kilowatt hours. That's a megawatt hour. So five to 10 times what the Model S is. So it's super expensive to replace that and few consumers are gonna wanna do that. With a million mile battery design and chemistry, the semi might get two to three times the battery longevity. So a 15 year investment instead of a five year investment, for example. And I'm just using rough numbers just to give an idea of what it means to companies who have fleets of trucks and how much money they could save with Tesla's semis, especially compared to other trucks. And again, I don't really wanna to get too much into competitors such as the recent reverse takeover IPO of a truck startup called Nikola who actually sued Tesla before, but they don't have this technology, let alone a whole bunch of other stuff that they're missing. So the million mile battery is super exciting for the Tesla Semi and it's extremely competitive. It's a pretty big deal breaker actually for those competitors that don't have this technology. The next thing that the million mile battery is a perfect setup for is the Tesla network or the Tesla robo taxi system. For those who don't know, this is an autonomous driving Uber type service that Tesla is preparing for once they have fully capable self-driving vehicles. Even in the meantime, before they have full self-driving, they can still launch the Tesla network and run the service with a driver, exactly what Uber does. But let's think a little bit further ahead about robo-taxis. Whether you think they'll be here in three, five, or 10 years, the million mile battery is still hugely beneficial. The strategy behind robo-taxis is that while you're at work or, or while your car isn't in use, you can send out your car to go make money for you by adding it to the Tesla network and having it drive throughout the day, then come back and pick you up at the end of the day. Maybe your car is also out all night drinking. I'm kidding, that would be illegal. The point is, is that your vehicle is racking up way more mileage than you would have had you had driven it yourself. And normally that adds wear and tear on your vehicle, on your battery life, and extra costs. But with the million mile battery, again, this worry goes away. And it's another piece of the puzzle at enabling Tesla's fleet of self-driving taxis. Even if Google's Waymo, for example, had a competing full self-driving service, Without this technology, their vehicles and therefore their return on investment would be greatly impacted over time and would make them less competitive with Tesla's service. Then there's another interesting value that comes out of having long lasting million mile batteries and that's something called vehicle to grid, but it's effectively using your Tesla vehicle as a power wall for your home for example. Being able to take power out of the car battery for other uses or putting energy back in when the grid needs to offload some electricity. Of course, you may need some adapters for that, but your power wall can be charged multiple times a day. It's more optimized for that, while your vehicle simply can't do this. Its batteries are not made for a high number of cycles. Million mile batteries solve this problem. However, although you have a mobile generator now, I still think power walls will still be useful. Your car won't completely replace your power walls functionality because when you need to leave the house, for example, during a power failure, the power is gonna go out and you might need to get out of your garage, which might be annoying if your car is the thing powering your garage door. Also, after the vehicle is worn down, the batteries can still be recycled and reused as home batteries in power walls and commercial mega packs to build a low maintenance, long lasting electrical grid system. So there's many, many uses for the million mile battery. What does this mean for the automotive industry? Well, we talked about Nikola, the semi-truck manufacturer, who I don't really see as a competitor, but basically other competitors simply don't have this type of technology. There's already a massive discrepancy between the prices of Tesla's and other vehicles. Tesla is way cheaper per watt hour, but even at the same price, a million miles versus a few hundred thousand miles or less is a no brainer. 
I think it was the first Nissan Leaf after two years in some cases, the battery was dead. That actually may have created a lot of negative brand publicity for other electric vehicles. Competitors have never had a good offering, especially when you compare them to a Tesla. So I think the million mile battery is a huge money savings because it's equivalent to replacing your Tesla's battery three or four times and it's an enabler of new technologies and products such as the Semi, even the Cybertruck and other vehicles can take advantage of this and the robo taxi network is largely enabled thanks to this innovation in my opinion. This also fits in well with Tesla's ecosystem, their home batteries and I think it's a stepping stone to really dismantle the fossil fuel industry. Battery prices are also following Wright's law as Ark Invest has pointed out and that means that every cumulative doubling in volume will decrease the price by some percentage. So Tesla's battery will get increasingly cheaper over time, very similar to the semiconductor industry. As for automotive, competitors are still struggling. They're still trying to catch up to the 2012 technology from Tesla. And I think the million mile battery is a leapfrog aspect to Tesla's product that will simply widen the gap. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed my take on the million mile battery. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you think I missed something, maybe a benefit that I didn't talk about. So leave that in the comments. Be sure to hit the like button to support our video. We'd super appreciate that. And subscribe with the bell button at the bottom. We would also highly appreciate your support on Patreon. It's actually really quite amazing. And a huge thank you to our patrons for supporting us and our channels. We give a shout out at the end of each video. And I'll also put a link in the description if you want to learn more about other stocks as well. Uh, we have on our TMIO channel where we talk about all sorts of publicly traded companies like Beyond Meat. Uh, we have a video for Shopify and Southwest Airlines and more. So thanks so much for watching and for your continued support.